you like to come on a Soviet bicycle adventure? On a Soviet bicycle? Yes? Well then you're in the right place. Good morning from Preluki, which is a small provincial town here in Ukraine. Around the corner is a shop that sells iced bicycles. Iced is a Soviet firm from Belarus that makes the village clunkers that you find everywhere from Minsk to Vladivostok. I've always wanted to buy one and go on a little bicycle journey. So um, let's do it now. Let's go and buy a Soviet bicycle. Awesome. <laughs> Я може быть буквально 20 лет не била на велосипед, но сегодня буду учить еще раз. Думаю, что все будет хорошо. Может вам сопровождение дать? The lady's asking me if I know how to ride a bicycle. Продаются много айс или они не популярны сейчас или раньше? Нет, продаются. Да? Почему? Конечно, да? как раз Потому что старый материал типа, но ну, это не совсем современный. Не совсем современный дизайн, но качество осталось хорошее. Хорошо, рад слышать. All right, we're off on the Soviet bike on a Soviet adventure. Whoa, where's the brakes? Ah. Now the first thing we need to do on a Soviet bike adventure is buy something that's even more important than the bike. The vodka. Let's go to the shop. Where's my horn? <laughs> Let's go for this one. Nemirov Deluxe Vodka. I think a Soviet bike journey demands a Deluxe Soviet Vodka. Let's go. It's all happening. The bike is still there. Thank God. Look at that. That vodka is not going anywhere, except in my stomach. Let's go. Right, where are we going exactly? Now I heard there's a village nearby called Ladan or Ladan. I have no idea where it is. I'm just driving. Soviet cars. Maybe it's this way. Let's see. Let's ask someone. Here's a Soviet dude. Kazir Ladan. 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 Derevnia Ladan. Ladan. Znaite? Derevnia Ladan. Da, da, da. Naleba. Spasiba. Spasiba. All right. Got to do a left here. Hey, that was fortunate. Here we go then. We're off guys, on the road to Ladan. I never thought I'd say that. Добрый день. Да? Мы свою Украину любим. Да? Любим. Хорошо. So for you bicycle geeks out there, let me tell you something about the specifications of the iced. What do you get you for your money? You get a Soviet bell. You get one gear, which I think is called lactic acid gear. Because I've got about a kilometer and my legs are seizing up already. Bloody hell, it's hard. It's like I'm going through mud. You've got no brakes, previously mentioned. And you've got a seat that if you go more than five kilometers on it, is guaranteed to give you piles. I've just pulled off this side road here on the way to Ladin because I've seen up here is a tower overlooking some kind of industrial complex and I would love to climb that tower Super Sioux style. I've never climbed a Soviet tower before. I don't really want to get caught doing it. There's a few factories around here. Hopefully I don't get arrested for espionage. Let's um, hide the bike and then climb up to the top of that. As I say, people can get the wrong idea about you and thinking you're working for MI6 or something. Now, you and me know that I do work for MI6, of course, but we don't want the local security guard thinking out and reporting me to the police. Fuck, that looks dodgy, it's so rusty. This has not been used in a long time. Look, there's trees growing up through it.
Well, this escalated quickly. This wasn't meant to happen on the bike ride. But when you see a tower that's climbable, you've got to climb it. Those are the rules of Soviet adventurizing. I've just remembered that I'm a little bit scared of heights. Oh, especially when you're climbing some rusty old ladder. Oh man. You felt this where they've rusted away. Ah oh, man. Whoa, man. Oh no, this is dodgy as hell. <sighs> Ooh. <sighs> Bloody hell. Oh man, it's rocking. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm genuinely scared, I'm not joking. Oh, there's the factory. Those are the industrial secrets I'm trying to steal for my queen. I'm almost there, but look, there's a trap door. There's no way up into it. I wanted to actually get up into it. Oof, man. I think I'm gonna have to call it quits. Abort mission, MI6 agent. Bald, abort mission. I want to ride my Soviet bicycle, I want to ride my iced. Look, I've turned off the road to show you something. Check this out. This building, nondescript building, just an old brick building, abandoned like everything else, but look up there. The numbers that have been put into the brickwork, 1990 and 1990. So just think, when this brick building was built, it was built at the very end of the Soviet Union, just a year before the collapse and the Ukraine went its own way. The person who put those bricks had no idea what was coming. It was impossible to predict that the Soviet Union would collapse like that and that one day Russia and Ukraine would not be together. I think I might just piss off out of here. Hello. Shots with chillers. Get out of it or I'll, I'll scare you with my Soviet horn. I see a sign. The sign that says, Welcome to Ladon. Let's go and check it out. I think we've made it. The Soviet bicycle journey is almost over, which is just as well because the bike feels like it's going to collapse. Check out Ladon. Oh yeah. Well, considering we just passed the sign for Ladon, doesn't seem to be much activity. Not much going on in old Ladon. But give it a chance. I mean, Ratush didn't start off too good and then look what happened. We found the church. We found all kinds of interesting stuff. Dobry din. A gdzie Ladon? Ladon. Gdzie to? Gdzie Gorod? Wow, this is it. The bright lights. We finally found it. There's the shop. Wow. Look at this place. There's even a bloody sign saying I love Ladon. I think we should check it out. Look at it. And some random dudes giving me the eye. The rest of it the Got some kind of shop here? I don't know. This would have been probably the old Soviet house of culture. Here before they would have had on this wall the faces of the town's great and the good. Doska Pachota, but now they've taken them all down. That was obviously in Soviet times. Ukraine is not a country that kept much of its Soviet past, not like in Belarus. So now there's no more faces here. 
The face all been taken down. What else can we find? <laughs> Just to let everyone know that I've turned up in Ladon. Right then, where to? An old larder? I like it. Is that it? Some shops. A green larder. Check out the wheels on the Ladon car. I'm liking it. I'm liking old Ladon. It's better than Ratush. Woohoohoo! Ladon for the win! Whoa! Wait, there's no brakes! Ah, 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 ah. I've been to war memorials all over the former Soviet Union. But this is the first one I've come to where the names have been taken off, the memorial has been defaced. The people of this area and of Ladin who died fighting the fascists, as it says up here, has been removed. And the flame has stopped working. Ukraine and its history, well, the history with the Soviet Union is a rather difficult one. More difficult here than in many other republics I've been to. Maybe that explains why the names have been ripped down. Here, tucked away in the bushes, are some old Soviet signs. And I think they're advertising maybe what you could study at the college here. You could be an Elektrozvarnik, so an electrician, I suppose. Here, you could be a machine operator. This guy could be a, whatever that is, pressing a red button, pressing the nuclear button. You can be a nuclear button presser. Or here, if you're not so macho and you don't want to blow up the world, you could have been a cook, a kuchar. There you go. What job would you choose? Or a bricklayer? Your choice. The future is yours. If you come to Ladon, Well, we made it to Ladon. We've had a little look around, and I think I've deserved this bloody beer. А ты что, иностранец? Иностранец. Кто ты? Англичанин. Да ладно. Ну, правда. Не правда. Ну хорошо. Не верю. Паспорт. Нету со мной. Да да. Обманщик. Нет. I've been invited to go pick in some cucumbers with my new friend here in Ludden and he's bought me beer and pork scratchings. What a legend! Куда мне? Далеко? Не далеко. Хорошо. Давайте. Экстремальный туризм. Вот это ты правильно сказал. Экстремальный туризм. Короче, ты шлем одеваешь. А вы? Ну я ж трезвый. Хорошо. Я тоже. Сейчас ключи найдем. Ну хорошо. Вау, какая марка это? Красивый. Чизета. Что? Пиздатка? Чизета, чихрасловатская ява. This should be fun. He's absolutely pissed. Oh, bloody hell. This doesn't bode well. Will I survive this? Or is this one adventure too far? Oh, well, that's sure. Looks like we're going to do this. Sergei's absolutely pissed. Got a shot, sir. Sure, come on, that's it. Bye bye. Here you are. Woohoo! A Soviet motorcycle adventure. A three mile net. Юдочка, дай нам лист. Я что? Это сама. Я боюсь. Ты всякую херню пьешь? We picked up a bottle of Samagon. 
и снимать не надо. Сама он. Ага. Давай сюда. Томай, да, это из украинской партии? Да. До свидания. Да, я тут. Не волнуйтесь. This is the most dangerous situation I've ever been in. Сэнди, отлично. Интересно, украинский дом. Первый раз. Да ладно. Честно. Добро пожаловать. Спасибо. Вау. О, настоящий. Деревянский дом красивый. Ну так можешь снимать. Вау. Ты попал в сказку. О, ну типа американский, блядь, виски. Хорошо. Нормально. Давай, Тага. We're gonna try some Ukrainian samagol. This is the real shit. Давай, брат. Давай, брат. Ну ты Спасибо. мне, я тебе не верю, что ты. Ты же не показываешь документы. Ты... А, вы не верите, что я англичанин? Да. Почему? Да я тоже могу так пиздеть, как ты. Э, почему? А, вы думаете, что я сделаю вид, что я иностранец, но в да, принципе да, я... Да, да. Это неправда. Я совсем англичанин. Мы сейчас в интернете поделим. Хорошо, да. хорошо. Давай. А ты же первый раз в Украине. Ну, не первый раз, но первый не, раз. Ну, не... язык ты знаешь. Да, туалет ты снимал? Хорошо, хочу. Не, ну я сделаю новый, ну пока такие. Пойди поснимай, покажи. Сергей wants me to check out the toilet. He says for the full Ukrainian village experience. I hope there's no Soviet turds in there. Wow. А, а, там не смей! Там не смей! Что? Смей! Смей! There was a snake in there. I shit myself. <laughs> I almost did a turd in the Soviet toilet. There was a snake. That made us me. Now, who was it? Blin. Bolshoi Bill. There was a big bloody snake in the toilet. Imagine having a crap and a snake comes out. That wasn't very manly of me, was it? Let's face it. The way I reacted to that snake. It wasn't exactly a cobra. Oh, oh, понятно. Let's check out this tour of a Ukrainian garden. Oh, this is unexpected, isn't it? Человека в шоке. Спасибо. Ой, спасибо большое. Очень добрый. Отлично. The neighbor just gave me a present of some of these things. I don't know what they are, but they look tasty. Snake country. Watch out for the cobras. I don't like your T-Series. Nothing personal, kid. Dragon Ball, you just drunk me vicious. You got a fit of the population in your nation. But I don't know how you're going to be Johnny. I don't know what they should do. Let's throw this fucking party with... When you finish a toast, the last drink of the day in Ukraine, you say Nakonya on the horse. It means one for the road. Let's have one for the road. Ah, 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 Сергей, не надо. Расслабься, Сергей. Расслабься. Я могу сам. А я мотик делаю. Давай пешком. Что? Мотик не надо. Пешком. И завтра я сюда пешком. Та ну нахуй. Я живу, блядь, три километра отсюда пешком. Черт. Черт. Какие, блядь, пешком. Нихуя ли пешком. Sergei is insisting that he drive me back to my bicycle. 
which considering he can barely stand or keep his eyes open after the sam are gone, I think is not a very wise idea. Здравствуйте, добрый день. Настоящий, да? Да, настоящий англичанин. А ну, первый раз вижу настоящего англичанина. А ну давай, вы нас фоткаете и с тобой. Хорошо. Sergey just came to me and said, I want to give you a present. This. He said, give me five kopecks. I said, why have I got to give you five kopecks? He said, because in Ukrainian culture, you can't give someone a knife as a present. You have to like give them, you have to receive money for it, sell it. So I gave him five kopecks, which is nothing. And he gave me this rather cool flick knife. What a lovely guy. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but what a lovely guy. Brad, no way, man. Sergey, asterogna, pajalista, na motocicle. We're going the secret way to the bike so we don't find any police. Whoa! Тут камни, бать. Блин, смотри куда, смотри куда, Сергей, Сергей, куда, Сергей. <laughs> Это экстремальные приключения для англичанин. Да, машин нема? Машин нема. Ну все, давай. Буду на сухого гора. Хорошо, да, видел. Буду лазувать. We made it in one piece. We didn't die. Well, I've decided instead of cycling all the way back to Priluki, which is going to take me like, what, a couple of hours, I'm going to give the bike to Sergei as a present. Bye, Barak. Bye-bye, <laughs> 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 Soviet bicycle. I'm going to miss this Soviet bicycle. It was fun. We had a nice adventure together. But time to say goodbye. Ладно, я автобус домой. Давай тебе такси вызвать. Да ладно. Well, that's all we got time for from Aladdin. Did you enjoy the adventure? The Soviet bicycle adventure? I did. All right, I've got to get a bus back to Priluki. Have some dinner and hit the sack. Until next time. Slava Ukraina. Oh.